PubMed, a bibliographic database. PubMed is a bibliographic database on life sciences and biomedical information developed and maintained in the United States by the National Library of Medicine, the largest biomedical library in the world. A bibliographic database contains journal citations like this one from PubMed. Journal citations are information which describe a scientific article. Who are the authors? What is the title of the article? The date of publication? In which journal can I find it? The citation is generally followed by the abstract of the article and sometimes by the free full text. PubMed has been a free resource since 1997 thanks to a decision of US government. It covers all biomedical fields medicine, biology, pharmacy, public health and so on. It contains more than 20 million journal citations to articles from more than 5,500 biomedical journals in 40 languages. More than 2 million web searches are performed every day on PubMed. Mesh Thesaurus A thesaurus is a collection of selected terms, named keywords or concepts, organized through a hierarchy with correspondences between synonyms or similar terms. It is a tool which has two objectives describing the content of a database document and consequently helping users to find relevant information more easily. The MESH, a term which stands firm for medical subject headings, is the thesaurus used at the National Library of Medicine in the US to describe the content of articles included in PubMed. Members of the MEDS team, specialists with a specific training, are in charge of the indexation of the database. In other words, read the full text of the articles included in PubMed and describe them with MESH terms. The MESH is composed with 16 main categories, including anatomy, diseases, chemicals and drugs, and so on. Each category is also organized through a hierarchy, for example, the disease category, including 23 branches. The mesh contains more than 26,000 main terms named descriptors. Each one is presented with a detailed description named scope note and its position in the hierarchy. A term may belong to different hierarchies, as in this example for amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Each main term is associated to synonyms named entry terms, using them to run a search in the database, will match to the main term and display the related documents. Subheadings are terms which may be used in combination to a main term in order to precise one of its specific aspects. For example, this article, indexed with the descriptor amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, followed by the subheading diagnosis. The asterisk added to diagnosis indicates that it is the major topic of this article on amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Search without the mesh. First example, search by offer. Type its name, followed by initials, in the search box. Click the search button. More than 100 citations of articles from this offer are displayed. You can narrow your search to review articles, which are scientific summaries by one or more experts to sum up the current state of the research 
on a particular topic. You also can filter your search to the results for articles with a free full text. Search by subject. Here is an example to help you understanding PubMed search strategy. We are going to search for citations on Williams syndrome. As you type your query, terms are suggested. When you select a suggested term, you need not click the search button. On the results page, a search details box is always displayed to help you understanding how PubMed translated your query. The most important is the first item. PubMed identified Williams syndrome as a mesh term and displayed the related citations. PubMed also added automatically terms to your query to optimize it. A second example to explore this strategy, search for citations on nanism. PubMed identified nanism as an entry term, a synonym for mesh term dwarfism. That's why it displayed the citations corresponding to dwarfism as you can see on the search details box. Third example, search for citations on sarcosinemia. PubMed did not find any correspondence between sarcosinemia and mesh terms or entry terms, so it extended its search to all fields and found the term sarcosinemia in the titles or abstracts. PubMed search strategy. What is PubMed strategy called automatic term mapping? Here is a visual representation including the three previous examples. PubMed searches an exact match, the same string of letters between the terms you enter in the search box and the terms of its thesaurus, the mesh or their synonyms, the entry terms. This process stops if an exact match is found, like for Williams syndrome, identified as a mesh term, or for nanism, identified as an entry term and then switched to dwarfism. If no correspondence is found, PubMed searches the terms of your query in the article titles and abstracts like for sarcosinemia. Search by author and subject. To search for citations to articles from the author named Alfred Marr on systemic vasculitis, type in any order his name plus initial and the subject. 59 citations from this author are displayed including 13 review articles which shows he is an expert on the topic. Search for terms in quotes. Typing terms in quotes helps narrowing the search to the exact match. Compare in this example. The number of citations for health inequalities in quotes with the number without quotes. Using quotes turns off the automatic term mapping, so PubMed searches in all fields of citations, including the title of articles and the abstracts. Search using truncation. Truncation consists in adding a special character, generally an asterisk, to a word or to its first letters in order to search for its variations. This query will search for health inequalities, health inequities, health inequality, health inequity, as you can see on the search details box. Using truncation in PubMed turns off the automatic term mapping, so PubMed searches in all fields of citations, including the title of articles and the abstracts. Search using operators. Using operators allows combining search terms. Using a space or end between terms will search for results including all of them. For example, Ehlers Danlos pregnancy separated with a space. Look at the search details box for the way 
PubMed translated the query. Using the OR operator between two or more terms searches for results including at least one of them. The OR operator has to be typed in uppercase letters. In this example, as there are two different operators, OR and the space, you also need to precise the order in which your query will be performed by enclosing terms in parentheses. Here, PubMed will search for articles concerning all captunoria associated to one or both of the terms diagnosis and treatment. Search using limits. Limits, an interesting feature proposed from PubMed homepage, allows limiting your search by dates, by languages, to specific types of articles or to specific search fields. An example, with a search on practice guidelines for hemophilia. Type hemophilia in the search field. Click on limits from PubMed homepage. A limit specific page is displayed. Check the box for practice guideline and click search. When the limits function is activated, a message is displayed on the homepage. Don't forget to click on remove if you want to cancel the function. Search with the mesh. A PubMed search using the mesh database is helpful for five main reasons. Identifying the exact mesh term and getting detailed information on it. Accessing to PubMed specific citations. Limiting a search to main citations. Combining mesh terms. Building precise queries. Identifying the exact mesh term and getting detailed information on it. Clicking the link from PubMed homepage is an easy way to access the mesh database. Enter the term of your query in the search box, for example, Horton disease. As you type, terms are suggested. If you select a suggested term, like here for Horton disease, you need not click the search button. PubMed displays giant cell alternatives, the term mostly used in the medical literature for heart and disease. A short but precise description, a scope note, is associated to help you being sure that it is the desired option. A list of entry terms considered as synonyms is displayed, including heart and disease. Using entry terms to run a search will match to the main term and find the related documents. The mesh term giant cell arteritis is also visualized in the different hierarchies to which it belongs. It is a useful information as it helps you identifying the categories of diseases related to it. Accessing to PubMed specific citations. The mesh page for giant cell arteritis includes a PubMed link to all the citations described with this term. So, clicking on it displays more than 4,000 specific citations. Limiting a search to main citations from the same mesh page, a link is proposed to PubMed major topic, that is to say, to the articles 
one of the main topics is gender arthritis. Clicking PubMed Major Topic narrows your search to more specific citations. Combining Mesh Terms Mesh terms can be combined with operators to refine a search. We are going to run a search about gene therapy for patients with Huntington disease. Search for Huntington disease in the MeSH database. An option is proposed through a checkbox to restrict your search to MeSH major topic. Add this first search to PubMed Search Builder by clicking the button Add to Search Builder. Search now for the term Gene Therapy and add it to the Search Builder using the End Operator. Clicking you now Search PubMed displays the related citations. Building precise queries. We are going to run a search on epidemiology of thalassemias. Step 1. Search for the term thalassemias in the MeSH database. Clicking the needed term Clicking the needed term thalassemia displays its record, including its position in its different hierarchies. If you check the box, do not include mesh terms found below this term in the mesh hierarchies, PubMed will run a general search on thalassemias and not on its different types. If you need information on all types of thalassemias, it is not necessary to check this box. Step 2. Subheadings are terms associated with the MeSH term to describe some of its specific aspects. Check the box related to epidemiology. Then add your selections to the search builder by clicking the button Add to Search Builder before, if you need, you can check the box Restrict to Mesh Major Topic. Then click Search PubMed. You will get the citations related to epidemiology of thalassemias.